Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at a G.I. Joe codename Wreckage. This is the O Ring version of Wreckage. Wreckage was released in 2003. He was part of the Tiger Force 5 pack exclusive to Toys R Us stores. So, if you're not familiar with Wreckage, his foul name is Dylan L. Moreno. His social security number is 56934DL77. His primary military specialty is demolitions. Secondary military specialty is jungle warfare instructor. He was born in Los Angeles, California, and he is a grade E4. So Wreckage, he perfected his craft at the Army Jungle Warfare Training Center, where he served as a member of the OP4, which stands for Opposing Forces. It was his job to play the enemy in the training exercises, and he took his job very seriously indeed. His favorite trick was to sneak up behind the trainee and write, Bang, you're dead, on the back of his helmet without him knowing he was even there. Once he booby trapped a drink cooler with a live skunk and left it in the path of a thirsty trainee patrol. His methods may be irregular, but they worked. His victims never forgot the lessons he taught them. Any demolition specialist can set a charge and blow something up, but wreckage is, is also the expert at defusing and disarming demolitions. This is quite an asset in a hostile territory where one is apt to find all the sorts of dangerous stuff just lying around waiting to be stepped on or activated by a tripwire. He is even better at spotting these troublesome devices and avoiding them entirely, which is why the other members of the G.I. Joe Tiger Force team are always glad to have wreckage along for the mission. And his favorite catchphrase is, If it goes off with a bang, I treat it with respect, even if it's a little firecracker. Anybody who doesn't is a fool, plain and simple. If you have actually noticed throughout the sculpt of this figure, he actually kind of reminds you of somebody else that has the same kind of qualifications. Can you guess who that is? Comment down below if you know before I tell you. Three, two, one, Firefly. You'll also see the re uh, relationship with his weapons that he comes with. Um, so here he is. Let's take a look at him. He has a tan baklava mask. Standard sculpting eyes. Aesthetics are used to seeing for the O-ring style figures. He has an orange shirt underneath his black outfit. Here we have green grenades, black pouches sculpted, a, like a bandolier here with a buckle, silver buckle. His Tiger Force colors is more like a yellowish greenish color throughout his black suit. We do have some orange for his gun holster here and a silver pistol that's sculpted in non-removable and then a couple devices here on his thigh with a silver cylinder, maybe some kind of charges or something. Then he has his brown boots. No gloves or anything on his hands. On the reverse side of the figure, it's just basically the color pattern coming through and the straps around the back. So he's pretty nice looking figure for an O-ring style. Um, articulation of the figure kind of looks side to side. That's it. Uh, arms rotate 360. They will raise up, being very careful with this plastic. Nice and stiff, still he's in mint condition. Um, he has 360 rotation here, just below the bicep. We have the 90 degree bend on his arm, very tight. This is good and bad, but he does have the O-ring, which allows him to go side to side, back and forth. Of course, these figures fit fantastic. Sit fantastically and then with Venable uh -oh. they, he's been dang around his joints are stiff um, 90 degree bend on his knee great um, and that's it because that's our standard articulation for wreckage nothing special outside what do we expect from O-ring ver version of the G.I. Joe uh, characters so with that being said let's take a look at his backpack. You can see the resemblance here. We know what this is from. There's a lot of sculpting there. It's a shame there's no color. It's one of my favorite backpacks. 
Fortunately, when this was released, he does not have the cover like Firefly that goes right here. It did not come with it. It was not packaged in with Hasbro. They felt maybe it wasn't needed or whatever reason. And it fits perfectly on his back. I think, yeah. That's how that looks. Get it straight. So, hopefully his tools don't fall all over the place when he needs them. Also, you can see the same gun that Firefly has. So, machine gun with a silencer. This little piece here. I could clip on his arm. These do fit very nicely in the figure's hands because of the round and thinness. There's no issues. That's one of the better grips. They should really use it as a standard right there um, in size perspective. But it looks fantastic. The last piece it comes with, obviously, is the same as Firefly, is a phone. Old sat phone. Antenna. And then you can probably wedge that into his hand, but I'm not going to do that because this is a mint condition figure and I'm not going to risk it for this. Um, so here's the phone. Yeah, there he is. Do you guys have this set? Do you guys like this figure? Do you like the character? Or do you guys even know about Wreckage? Because he's one of those figures that are like not, you know, out in the forefront of most known G.I. Joe characters. He is probably, I would label more of a secondary character from a different time frame from the original. So hopefully one day we do get to see Wreckage in the classified line because I think he'd be a great addition to our Tiger Force because I, I like the aesthetics. It's not over the top. Um, we have the black and we do have the stripes, but it's done, in my opinion, tastefully. It's not like big fluorescent colors, but you got to get the orange. I think they use the orange relatively good uh, as a minimum. And the, uh, the stripes weren't off the, off the chain. At least they're greenish color for a military's perspective well i hope you guys like this review let me know what you think down in the comments about wreckage do you like the figure if you don't like the figure um I and mean, if you like the video please consider subscribing to the channel i'd really appreciate it a lot of great stuff coming and we have a lot of great stuff on our channel already don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me at least help out the channel if you can small little stroke helps it out a lot and share the video if you would like thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in our next review